Hey everybody, it's Dr. Wire from Synergy Science. I had a little uh, thing I wanted to share with you today. It's pretty remarkable to me. Uh, one of the things I did for my career was uh, we did some neurofeedback in my office. And basically, neurofeedback was a process of looking at an individual's brain waves. So you'd start with a, um, by, by put it, putting electrodes on specific parts of someone's head, and then you measure the brain waves that are happening, what's called the e a QEEG, a quantitative EEG. And what I have up on the screen here is a QEEG, a QEEG of, um, of a patient that came in. And basically when we do these, you have, the way I explained it was, you have five basic brain waves that your brain operates on. Now, when those five brain waves are working in concert with each other, I, the way I describe it is it's like a, um, it's like a, a, a symphony that's being led by a professional conductor. Okay, so you've got this conductor that's leading this beautiful symphony of these five brain waves that are working in concert with each other. Now, when those brain waves get out of sync with each other, then what ends up happening is instead of sounding like a beautiful symphony, uh, and if everybody working together, it sounds more like a junior high band that just got their instruments and there's no one leading. So. Uh, it sounds more like a cacophony than it does a symphony. And this is where a lot of uh, symptoms like depression, anxiety, etc. come from is because these brain waves are out of sync. So what I have on the screen is an actual patient who did, um, we, they did the brain scan. And this came from, Dr. Baratero actually sent this for me. This is another, um, another doctor that he works with that did this brain scan. And up here at the top of the screen, you can see alpha and beta waves. Now, Alpha and beta waves are basically your brain, your brain's never really at rest or it's in deep thought or it's in high stress, whatever. Uh, but again, it's when these work out of concert, get out of concert with each other is when we have problems. So if we look at the before scan of this individual, you look at the alpha waves and you look at this little scale right here. Green is good. Red is getting ba is bad, yellow is really bad, and then light blue is not enough, and then very light blue is very, or dark blue is really not enough. So this individual with their alpha waves before had a lot of alpha waves that were out of sync, and you look at the beta waves as well, the beta waves were all over the place with this particular individual. If you go down to the after, look at the after, hey? Not only do we have a whole bunch of these reds go into greens, yeah, some of them drop down into blue, that does happen. And then some of these reds kind of went up into, the, the betas kind of went up into yellow, that does happen. But overall, to get this kind of results, and I'll show you the normalization, to get 58% what we call normalization, this would have taken months and months and months of a therapy that we call neurofeedback. So the individual will sit in front of a movie screen, they'll actually watch a movie, and as their brain waves are being read, if their brain waves fall out of an acceptable range, the movie will actually gray out, which is really, really cool. But to get results, I never saw results like this going 58% normalization. That's huge. So when I saw this, I'm like, how long did this person have to do neurofeedback? The secret is they didn't do neurofeedback at all. The only thing that this particular individual changed was the water they drank. They drank water with dissolved hydrogen gas from the echo water machine that uh, that hydrogen stimulate the production of ghrelin. Ghrelin calmed these, these neurofeedback waves down to the point where we get to 58% normalization. I hope that sinks in with you how important that is and how huge that is for this particular individual to make that simple of a change. Hey, and would have taken, as I said, months and months and months of neurofeedback, which would have cost way more than the actual cost of doing the echo water machine. So this to me, it, this is the proof in the pudding. This is phenomenal, remarkable. I hope you understand the importance of it. Uh, again, if you guys have questions for me, if you've got uh, things that you want me to talk about, please don't hesitate to reach out. So thanks a lot. Happy Saturday. Hope you had a great holiday. We'll see you soon.